today is just kind of doing just that for a lot of people in need this morning. Yes, Dave Scott is over at Abraham Lincoln High School checking out this year's Toys for Joy. Hey, Dave. Oh, so much joy, so many toys, so many girls, so many boys. Lily, and, Lily McMillan, I just made that up. I, I, I guess it sounded all right. Well, a nursery rhyme for a uh, children's poem. Not too bad. I'm just starting out. Good job. J for Good those of you job. who don't know, Lily is the principal here, at both the schools here at Lincoln and uh, Porter. F at Porter. At Porter. <laughs> and you, this is something that you feel passionate about. Oh, yes. about. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very. To see the smiles on the children's faces, let alone the parents' faces, to know that the joy of the season is and the, the fact that someone else is giving without asking for anything in return, that's a great joy. And it's amazing how many people have to come together to make that, because we're talking not 1,000, not 2,000, but up to 12,000 kids in their family. We're expecting right at 16,000 today. So, and with a little more than close to 3,000 or more volunteers supporting this effort. So we're looking for a great event today. Lily, you know, the, do we, we just see one wave because because they got to kind of you know pace them out a little bit, and now some more kids are coming down. Oh yes, oh yes. Right now, it's my understanding they're doing a thousand at a time, so they're going to be coming by, and uh, they're uh, a lot of them are my students, so they'll be shouting out, "Hi, Miss McMillan. Good morning, Miss <laughs> McMillan. We're all up early this morning. Oh yes, out to have a great day of joy." It's a toys for joy, but joy for the season. Joy for the season. And Lily, you're making it even more joyful. Uh, let's check in with weather this morning. Right now, dense fog advisory. Take a look. We uh, Lindbergh Field, uh, still cool, still cloudy, still seeing the marine layer with us, and still seeing some dense fog patchy in, uh, in other areas. Change of picture. Definitely in a fog this morning, dense fog advisories by the National Weather Service and uh, some of the airports, Lindbergh Field, Fog, Los Angeles, LAX, John Wayne, Oceanside Airport, Brown Field, Montgomery Field, Gillespie, and Carlsbad all reporting fog. Well, the dense fog advisory with us until 10 o'clock this morning will be mixed out, but patchy and dense in some areas from the coast to the inland valleys and to the foothills. All right, this is uh, what's been happening since last night, a little bit of an eddy kicking in. We also have a northeasterly wind, and that's uh, really uh, tomorrow through Monday in the evening, the mountains and valleys, some of the gusts to uh, 45 miles per hour, hence that will increase the fire weather conditions. It's going to be dry and breezy into Tuesday, then that area of high pressure starts to break down midweek, and by Thursday, we're talking a chance of showers in San Diego. Meanwhile, the northern tier states, a lot of wintry weather along with a boundary, and area low pressure moving through the Great Lakes, and then on uh, just north of Dallas, all the way that frontal boundary. So some rain heading into the New England states, as well as snow, and only in the 20s for a high through parts of Montana, and some wet weather out there in the Pacific Northwest. Waves 2 to 5 feet, the swells out of the west, water temp 60 to 62, diving visibility 5 to 10 with a moderate surge at La Jolla Cove. 66 along the coast, 52 overnight, 72 uh, for an afternoon high in the Inland Valley. There's plenty of sunshine there, but partly cloudy along the coast. Temperatures in the mountains today, 60 and nice in the 70s out in the desert areas. Our KUSI Supercast 7-day outlook. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s right through Tuesday into Wednesday. Showers on Thursday. Inland valleys drop down to 55 degrees on Thursday. Mountain areas get down to 40 with temperatures below freezing Thursday and Friday night. Desert areas will be in the 70s and then down to the low 60s by Thursday into Friday. Big change coming for the end of the week and 17 days left till Christmas. So get all your stuff. You know, it's Christmas out here, it really is. It's called Toys for Joy. And we have uh, some information to share with you. Obviously, it's going on today, most of the day today. And Mailing Starkey, you have a lot of kids out here. We do, we do. You know what? We have this thing, the Rock Kids Ministry right here. They want to, they'll do a little number for you guys away in the manger. Um, they're just one of the many performances that we have this afternoon um, that just bringing joy to all the people that we have. Mailing, let's you and I spin around. Calvin, you come around this side over here. There you go. All right. And then you and I come over here. And Mei Ling, 
you know, when you see all the kids out here, you see all the families, they're talking, they're coming by in waves of 1,000 apiece, and you got this special group here to talk about this. Yeah, this is the Rock Kids Worship Ministry, and they have a way in the manger, and they'll they'll be singing for you guys. They're going to be performing all day. We've got hula dancers, we've got hip-hop dancers, we've got gymnastics, um, and they, they're just performing. There's a huge family field. Once the kids go into the toy room, they're going to go into the family field, get some entertainment. They can go and get clothing. They can get groceries it's just a fun event day for the whole family so if you're sitting at home on your couch and you don't have anything to do this Saturday come on out if you're in a position to give we still need clothing bring clothing to Porter Elementary School bring it to the Rock Thrift Store um, you know because we cannot do this event without all the amazing community help well thank you let's have a listen to the kids right now guys we're going to toss it back to you a lot going on out here toys for joys going on S up to 16,000 kids and families back to you all right dave scott thanks so much a great event happening out there at uh, lincoln high school this morning another great event happening in san diego la mesa rv is having a very special sales event with the proceeds benefiting wounded warriors and here to tell us more about this is jeremy davis with la mesa rv good morning to you sir how you doing Tom? doing great thanks for coming in appreciate that tell us about